Hi, I'm a tiny YouTuber who's unhealthily obsessed with numbers and minifigures, so I built this custom subscriber counter. Now I can be reminded of how few subscribers I have all day long. In this video I'll show you what else it can do, the basics of how it was built, and how much it cost. The wheel furthest to the left shows the mode you're currently in. As well as a subscriber mode, there's a time mode in an hour hour minute minute format, and a date mode in a day day month month format. You just press this button to select which mode to display. I started this project based around a dot matrix display, but I've always had a bit of a fascination with physical displays, like the rollovers in counters, or split flap displays, so change direction. I moved on to making this split flap inspired display, but kept running into problems getting it to work consistently. So I opted to just fix the minifigures to a big wheel. Each wheel has 10 minifigures, so can display 0 to 9. The wheel is turned by a stepper motor, which is controlled by a cheap microcontroller. This little sensor here senses this magnet so that it can be set to the first position when it's turned on. All the major parts are 3D printed. I designed and built it in a modular way so that each wheel is its own independent part and can be pushed together. So if I ever do get over 9,999 subscribers, I can just add another digit. All the wheels are exactly the same except for the lowest digit. In the lowest digit, there are a few extra parts. Most importantly, this extra microcontroller known as the ESP32. It's like the brains of the project and tells all the wheels what position to set. The ESP32 accesses the YouTube API for subscriber numbers and an NTP server for time and date. Once it has a result, it instructs each of the wheels to set themselves to a specific number. The ESP32 is also connected to the button used to select the mode. To keep the cost down, I use some knockoff minifigures. To add the numbers and symbols, I use water slide decal paper. If I ever want to use genuine minifigures but not damage them, I made these little drop on numbers I could use instead. I tried to keep the cost low and use easy to get parts, but it still ended up kind of expensive. Each wheel costs approximately $25, and that breaks down into around $10 for the electronic parts, around $5 for the knockoff minifigures, and $10 for the filament to print the parts. So 5 digits is in total around $125. Then there's a few extra parts like the ESP32, which would come into around $25 in total. To add that to the $125, and the whole package costs around $150, a bit more than I'd hoped. In the future, I would like to make an improved version. There's still lots and lots of bugs and bits to fix. I could easily add more modes in the future, like the weather or cryptocurrency prices. I'm not totally happy with how it looks. I actually prefer how it looks with the case of. If I started again I'd have 12 minifigures per wheel, then I could have an extra two symbols to make displaying the time and date clearer. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out for version 1. Currently there's very minimal error handling, and when things do go wrong I just switch it off and on again. So that's an overview of my subscriber counter and how it works. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like as it really does help out small YouTubers like me. Also, if enough of you subscribe, I'll have to add another wheel to the counter. Thank you for watching.